Hi, David Wallen here, and today I want to talk to you about the absolute best noise gate pedal that I have ever tried. This is the TC Electronic Sentry. So what is a noise gate, first of all? The noise gate is basically a device that's going to gate, shut off the decibel volume of a certain frequency. Anything above the setting that you set for the threshold is going to pass through, and anything below is going to be gated. So let's say that you have a, a noise from your pickup at two decibels when you're not playing. You're gonna have to set your threshold at about two dB. There are no indications as far as dB, so that's where your ear is um, involved in the process, but anything below that is not gonna be passing through. The higher the damp is, the more of that reduction you're gonna get. So if you set your, your threshold at two dB, and the damp all the way up, you're not going to hear anything that is below 2 dB. The decay is the speed at which that gate is going to open back up or close back. So if you want a more natural sounding lead tone, for example, you're going to set that decay a little bit higher. But if you're playing like gent style uh, riffs, where you want something to the, the gate to shut right after you triggered that note, you're gonna want the decay all the way down. The Sentry works in two different modes. The first mode is a gate, and that's useful for heavy riffs. Like I explained, the gate is going to be a faster gate. It's gonna mute completely uh, anything that is below the threshold that you set, and that's great for riffs, for heavier tones, and that's your setting of choice, that's the gate mode. I'm in an intermediate pickup position, which is known to be a little noisier than a full humbucker. And I'm just gonna riff on that open string. I'm not using my right hand, which you should do when you're playing that kind of stuff to mute the strings, but I wanna show you how noisy it is. Now I'm gonna activate the pedal. I've got my threshold set the way I want so that there's no noise coming through and the decay is very, very fast. So it's turned all the way to the left. That means that the, the gate is going to close really, really fast right after triggering a note. I've got my dampening set the way I want. And here's that same riff with the pedal active. Bypass. The second mode is the hiss mode, and that's where the Sentry really shines. The Sentry is actually more than a noise gate. Instead of just taking a particular volume and muting it according to the threshold that you set, the Sentry allows you to specify a certain frequency that you want to mute. So anything other than that frequency is going to act just like a regular tone going through the pedal. This is a bypass pedal, by the way, so true bypass. It's not going to color your sound. So that's very useful for those pickup noises that you might get. Maybe you, you get a hiss on the higher end of the frequency. The Sentry is going to act as a noise gate only on those frequencies. So I've got a preset loaded up in my XFX2. This is a heavier preset. <laughs> And when I stop playing, especially if I'm in one of these intermediate pickup positions, you'll hear that hiss. You hear those noises. I'm going to activate the pedal. You still hear a little bit of noise. That's because the threshold needs to be set correctly. Right now, the threshold is all the way to, to the top, which means that anything below that is going to pass through. And now the threshold is a little bit lower. I'm at 50%. Anything below that, no noise at all. And that's not going to affect the higher tone. And when I'm stopping, I'm really stopping. The decay is a little bit higher, which means that you're going to have a natural decay going on. The gate is going to shut off a little bit slower. And you can see that red light. Whenever that red light is on, 
the noise gate is doing its job. If I set the threshold all the way up, the red light is going to turn green because it's not doing anything right now. It's, um, it's not gating anything. And straight out of the box without configuring anything but the threshold, the damp and the decay, the hiss works incredibly well. I just plugged it in and activated that mode and the hiss was gone automatically. But if you have a very particular setup, uh, a unique type of pickup where you have a boost in certain frequencies that is a little bit outside of what the regular pickups would be, that's where you can really go into the pedal in the tone print mode, which allows you to play engineer basically inside the pedal. The Tone Print is a software available for your computer, Mac or PC, also for your iPad or your iPhone, and you can hone into those frequencies and affect only those frequencies. You can truly customize this pedal to the, the rig that you're using, and that's where the Sentry is incredible. This really is the best noise gate that I've ever tried. If you're looking for a noise gate, just, just don't even think about it. Get the Sentry. It's incredible. As it's always the case with TC Electronic, this is a soft switch, so it's not gonna hurt your foot. It also has a send and a return. This is great. That means that you can apply the TC Electronic Sentry to only one pedal of your rig, for example. Maybe you have a distortion pedal that is a little noisy. Well, apply the Sentry to that pedal only. This is the kind of pedal that really doesn't make any sound. <laughs> That's the whole goal. It's gonna clean up your, your rig and it really get it. Get the TC Electronic Sentry. I love this pedal. I'm gonna leave the link in the description of this video so that you can check out the official website. Here's some more samples. That's my review of the TC Electronic Sentry. Thanks for watching this. I'll see you very soon on this channel. Until next time, practice well.